back to another Pico Gym workout challenge write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Forensics Challenge Matryoshka doll. Let's get into it. Matryoshka dolls are a set of wooden dolls of decreasing size placed one inside the other. What's the final one? Usually when I see this, it's usually involving a zip challenge where it has multiple zips and you have to unzip all of them programmatically or whatever. You, I mean, you could try to do it manually. It'd take forever though. But that being said, they give us a dolls.jpg. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it actually looks like. And it looks like a Matryoshka doll. All right, so let's run a file on it. And it's not even a JPEG, it's a PNG. Okay, let's run Binwalk on it then. Ah, there we go, there's a zip archive. Now, if we're lucky, we could just potentially run unzip on it and it may actually just unzip the file for us. So let's try that. Okay, so it made a base images and then a 200 score C.jpg. So if we go into base images, we want Benwalk on the new image in there. We get another zip archive. Okay, and it's in another base images folder. All right. Well, we don't know how many times we're going to have to go through that. It could be three times. It could be 300 times. It could be 3,000 times. It could be even more than that. So let's try to do this programmatically. Well, let's run Binwalk on the original file again. Let's, well, let's do LS. Let's remove the base images and then do a Binwalk on it. So what we need to do is we need to unzip dolls or well, we need to unzip whatever the JPEG is. And then we need to CD into base images and then unzip and keep repeating that process. So we can write a little one line inline bash kind of script command thing in order to get that done. So let's do four I in zero to 100. It's just a guess. We can increase it or decrease it if we need to do. And we want to unzip and we'll just go ahead and not beat around the bush here and just do star dot JPEG. Hopefully they're all JPEGs. And then we're going to CD into the base underscore images directory right after that. And then it's just going to keep looping that. And then if it finds something it can't unzip or whatever, it will probably prompt us to do something. So I don't really need to put any kind of air conditions here and make it pretty. We're just going to do the down and dirty for it. Then we'll just do done. Okay. So now we'll just press enter. And there you go. See, it's working. It's inflating. And then we're well, it doesn't show it, but we CD into the base images directory that's unzipped from it. And then it says replace flag.txt. Let's just exit out. Well, I did a little control Z there. And you'll notice that we're inside the innermost directory of base images. Now, if we do LS, we can see that the flag.txt is right there. So honestly, we could have just opened this up in the archive manager and just kept unzipping it a few times and we would have gotten to it. But I thought this was a much more intuitive way to do it, you know, in case you run across this again in a similar form or manner and you want to get an idea of how you can do it programmatically so you don't have to do it manually in case there's a lot more zip files to go through. So let's cut the flag out already and let's grab that. Nope. There we go. And we'll paste that in. Submit. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.